Hi, I'm Barb Scherer, the principal at Scherer Law Offices with locations in Edwardsville and Belleville, Illinois. Today we begin a series of videos on what to wear and more entertainingly, what not to wear when we go to court. Usually I preface my videos by telling you this isn't legal advice, consult an attorney. Trust me, everything I'm telling you today, you want to take my advice on this. So think about it. When you go to court, whether you're seeing a judge or not, if you're seeing a judge at a trial, you need to be ready to go. It's like you're acting in the play. If not, if it's a case management conference or a status, think of it as a dress rehearsal. But either way, you want to look like the winner you want to be at the end of your litigation. So let's talk about what not to wear. And helping me today is my lovely law clerk, Paige. Paige is going into her second year at St. Louis University, and she has volunteered to dress up beautifully. Paige looks great, but does Paige look great for court? No, Paige doesn't look great for court. Let's say Paige is my client in a criminal, in a felony case. This is not how I want her coming into court. Let's say Paige is a woman that we're trying to get custody for. No, this is not how we want her. You want to take Paige for a drink on the patio and hang out with her and drink wine? Perfectly dressed. Do you want to go to the beach with Paige? Amazing. Prom? Whatever you want. Out for a nice dinner? Yes. But to the Madison County Courthouse or any county courthouse? No. What's wrong with Paige's outfit for court? Although your outfit is gorgeous, too much cleavage, bare arms, the long look, she looks like she's ready for a casual night on the patio. So Paige, we love your dress, but not the courthouse, sweetheart. Anyway, stay tuned for further what to wear and more entertainingly what not to wear.